The first suspect is a Caldwell County resident arrested by authorities in Newton on a methamphetamine related charge. 36 year old Charles Thomas Shear of Applegate Court in Lenore was arrested yesterday by Newton police officers. He's charged with possession of methamphetamine, possession of marijuana up to one half ounce and carrying a concealed gun. Shear was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $10,000 bond. He remained there as of earlier today. A district court date was scheduled today. 25-year-old David Enoch McClellan of Spring Meadow Drive in Hickory was arrested February 11th by troopers with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. He's charged with possession of a firearm by a felon, driving while impaired, and simple possession of Schedule 4 controlled substance. McClellan was detained in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $9,000 bond. He is no longer listed as an inmate. A district court appearance is scheduled for March 5th. The next suspect is a Catawba County woman charged with a drug offense. 30-year-old Ashley Nicole Litton of Pecan Street in Conover was arrested last Thursday by probation and parole officers. She's charged with felony counts of possession with intent to sell and deliver Schedule II controlled substance and probation violation. Litton was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $5,000 bond. She remained in jail as of earlier today. A superior court date is set for tomorrow. 25-year-old Rebecca Larray Arney of County Home Dairy Road in Conover was arrested last Friday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. She's charged with felony flee to elude arrest with a motor vehicle. Arney is also charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting a public officer, larceny, second degree trespassing and driving while license revoked. Arney was detained in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $2,750 bond. She remained there as of earlier today. A district court date is scheduled for March. 11th. Reporting for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.